Hi, my name is Van Yang. And I am Antonio Lee Chung. Together, we make up Toronto's most dynamic and customer-focused real estate team. Over the years, we received a lot of questions from friends, family, clients, and even colleagues about real estate. In this video, we are going to answer some of those questions in a segment we call FAQ in Real Estate. So at the moment, we have a very hot market. So one of the questions people are asking themselves are, why don't I just sell the house or condo myself? All the real estate agent is going to do is post a sign on my lawn and put my listing on the MLS. To be frank with you, it's true. You could sell the house yourself, but here are some of the things Antonio and I will be doing to help you sell at the highest price in the shortest amount of time and we offer a great experience with constant communication. There will be a lot of questions when you are ready to put your house on the market. Questions such as, do I have to renovate the house or a certain room? Will renovating bring in more money? How do I get rid of all the clutter? I have no more space to put my stuff. What month should I list or even what day of the week should I go to market? We are here to answer all your questions and put your mind at ease. We will use all our experience and knowledge to develop the plan before we even send in a photographer to take high resolution HDR photos. And we even throw in a virtual tour so potential buyers can walk through the house on their computer, laptop, iPad, or their cell phone. If time permits, we will start work right away and market your property before it even hits the market. We are going to use our social media presence and digital footprint to market your property. When your listing hits the market, we will let our colleagues know. And we also contact our vast list of past clients from over the last 10 years. So they are aware your property has gone to market. You guessed it. Marketing plays a big role in all of this. More eyes on your property means more potential buyers, which leads to more money for you. We will advise you on the best strategy. Are we going to have an offer date or accept offers anytime? This all depends on the market and timing, which leads to research. We are here to remove the emotions from the deal and stick to the plan of getting you what you want. Of course, we handle all the paperwork and make sure you are protected with, with terms that are fair or even favorable to you. We will make sure we have all the facts to maximize money for your property. We make sure we will not leave money on the table. Another question we get is, should you home stage? Will it bring you more money? If you Google, should you home stage right away? You are going to see lots of pages to tell you to home stage because studies show staging would bring you more money. Through my experience, not all homes needs to be staged. Some of our clients already have great furniture spaced out nicely and the walls are still very modern colors. We will have to come into your home and do a consultation before we could tell you if you are getting value from staging or if you are throwing money away. Another question we get from homeowners who are upgrading or downsizing is do we sell first or do we buy first to get to the answer we have to factor in what's happening in the market at the moment the market is hot for sellers and consider the seller's market so it won't be tough to sell your home or market at market value or even above market value so now that your house is sold how easy will it be to purchase a home since it is a seller's market and sellers have the upper hand well, it depends where you are moving to. Not all areas are hot. There could still be houses that are on the market for weeks in certain areas. All this will be planned ahead together with us. We will make sure we lead the way to a stress-free move. Now, here are some questions from buyers. How much will I need for closing costs? And closing costs will typically range from 1.5 to 4% of the home's purchase price. This includes things like lawyer, administrative fees, and are payable on closing. 
the land transfer tax and property taxes among other things. On a $800,000 home, this could be a $12,000 to $32,000. For first time buyers, the question is always, how much do I have to have for a down payment? Simple answer is minimum, you have to have 5%, but anything under 20% will require you to have mortgage default insurance, which will have a cost associated. Best thing to do is get in touch with a mortgage agent or broker to see how much house you can purchase. There are many factors that the mortgage person will work out and give you a final pre-approved number. Some people call to ask about no down payment to purchase a home programs or even rent to own programs. These programs do exist. We are happy to send you information about these programs, but always remember there are no free lunches and often it will cost you. It's like if you had $200 to buy a table, it would cost you $200 plus tax. That is the final price. If you went to the rent to own furniture, furniture store, you might pay over $400 for that same table. If you like this type of videos, please comment down below so that we can provide more of this content in the future. And please hit the like button to help us out for the YouTube algorithm and support us by subscribing to our channel. And for now, see you in the next video.